was supposed to meet Gerald for a drink and he stood me up. You couldn't be bothered to turn up because you were cleaning. Am I being a moron? A complete muppet. It's a nice change for my sad hermit existence. you off this time. But I'd love another VNC, thanks. Sure. Don't be shy. With the vodka. Sorry, yeah, barman, just deploying single shots. Hmm. Now this idea, fancy a shooter? Oh, better not, you know, I've got lectures tomorrow. I thought you were an apple. Well, I'm hoping to get into medicine, so I'm studying on the side when I'm not working at the bar. Wow. So, you can save lives and mix a decent cocktail. That's a pretty hot combination. Do you have a girlfriend? Not at the moment. That's an irresistible combination. Oh! I will get a cloth. Oh, it can wait. We don't want it to stain. Gerald will freak out. Chill, girlfriend. How's it going to freak out when he's not even here? And I got my signature. She can tell me straight. Just how bad is the market? No, it's fair to grim. But you've built the business significantly, so I'd expect some gain on your initial investment. Some gain? <laughs> well, I'm not willing to give it away, but I do need as quick a sale as possible. I understand. Well, we'll start marketing immediately. Whiskey, neat, please. You hate whiskey. Well, it's not like I'm going to have a relationship with it. No, not with Morgan by the looks of things. What happened? Nothing. I didn't even speak to her. Oh, you pillock. You guys do split up. It's your own stupid fault. I didn't speak to her because she was too busy partying it up with her new best friends. Oh, and guess who else was there? Who? Hunter. Miserable and lonely, my foot. She's making up for lost time. Rubbish. She's probably just doing an Alice. A what? An Alice. Trying to... Blot out the bad stuff by partying hard. With her ex-boyfriend? In our house? They're probably swinging from the lampshades oh, as we speak. stop it. I wonder if I could get the marriage annulled. It's not like anything's been consummated. Well, how about you give her a chance to explain before you go hiring a lawyer? Oh. There's the taxi. Last one in, but it's the first round. <laughs> Better hurry. My friends have expensive tastes. The only place I'm going to is bed. Yeah, I've got uni tomorrow. I'm going to pass too. You don't have to drink. I'll keep you on your toes. Thanks, but no thanks. Your loss. Just quietly, I think she might like you. You don't say. Do you need a hand tidying up? Oh, it's fine. I can do it. I'll head off then. What about a taxi? Well, actually, I'm staying with Sarah and TK at the moment. How come? Well, I just need some space from Dad and his new shag, Brooke Freeman. Really? I need to get out more. That's only just public knowledge. Still, it can't be easy seeing him move on after your mum. Something like that. Anyway, you don't need to hear it all. Thank you. It's been really nice hanging out. Yeah, I'm glad you dropped in. Same. Mm. You know, if you'd rather, you could always stay here the night. You're proposing blocking four appointment slots each day. Mm, a total of an hour per day to be used solely for the purpose of returning calls to patients. The stuff that can be dealt with over the phone so the patient doesn't have to attend the clinic. This seems like a win-win situation. Any objections? No. 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 Great. I hereby approve the PCC telephone consultation initiative. You may go forth and implement. Thank you. Excuse me? That is what I call lightning speed bureaucracy. You have a problem, Maxwell. Not at all. Well, I was just wondering whether it's hospital-wide or simply reserved for the special relationship between the PCC and the executive office. 
I can assure you I treat all departments with the same level of consideration. Remarkable. Good. Now, if we could focus on the matters on the agenda, we have a lot to get through. Yes. Well, it would seem it should be on the agenda. And judging by my colleague's reaction, I have to wonder whether departmental equality is a topic that requires further discussion. No, it does not. Drawing your attention to item four on the agenda, the half-yearly budget report, please. You don't look so great yourself. Sorry, uh, how was your night? Yeah, man. Would have been better if you were there. Um, maybe next time, eh? I'll hold you to that, you know. Oh my gosh, have you just got in? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Go back to bed. It's OK, I've been awake for ages. Did you sleep all right? Yeah, not too bad. I could use a coffee, though. Mm, me too. Do you want one, Araha? I'm going for a shower. I don't think I'm very popular. <laughs> yeah, Morgan to the rescue again, thank you. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, kind of confused, angry, sad, headachey and really thirsty. I think I might have a hangover. Morgan Braithwaite, you little devil. Actually, it's Tippett, my surname now, although probably not for much longer. Sorry. Oh, might as well get used to it. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? I'm finding the head of department position a real challenge. The intricacies of interpersonal exchanges, well, they just confuse me. Yeah, join the club. Uh, are we talking general confusion or has something happened? Well, at the HOD meeting this morning, Maxwell raised the subject of departmental equality and whether the PCC was being favoured by Callum, which I thought was a fair question. But Callum took offence, which caused great amusement amongst the other staff. Was Brooke there? Yes. Was she laughing? No, she was most unimpressed. Mm. That's because Maxwell was actually giving them a hard time about their affair. Yeah, but what have their personal lives got to do with their work? Okay. The first thing that you need to understand is that Callum and Brooke both have very colourful pasts, and Brooke, well, everyone knows that her morals have always been highly questionable. Many will see her relationship with her boss as a political move rather than a personal one. Oh, so she's trying to sleep her way to the top. Yeah, in a nutshell. <laughs> and now I get it. Thank you. Pleasure. What's with the sign outside? It's pretty self-explanatory, I just thought. Well, if there's a new owner, I could lose my job. Hey, the job's not too safe for the current owner. Oh, hey, I reckon I'm doing good. And no way am I going to let you down. I'm even flagging the school ski trip so I don't have to take time off. Oh, no, you take off all the time you want. Nah, it's sweet. I didn't really want to go that much. I'm just getting some coffee. Yeah, OK, but fill in the store book this time, yeah? On top. Good morning, Squire. Pete, this is unexpected. Is that your sign out there? Yeah, time to diversify, move on. You know how it goes. Yeah, I do, mate. I've just recently diversified myself into MP3 players. Really? Got a bit of a business opportunity if you're interested. Container load. Recent release. All the whiz and bang. They're yours for 50 bucks a unit. Ah, uh, yeah, it's tempting. But alas, on this occasion, I'm going to have to decline. You've got my lowest price, mate. There's nothing else in it. Yeah, I know. I still can't do it. Sorry. But thanks for that, sir. Do you fancy a coffee? <laughs> Giving that away, too? There are a couple of positions that look quite promising. I doubt Callum would approve of you using hospital time to research jobs for me. Well, he can blow it out his ear. <laughs> Chris, an issue has arisen with our craniotomy patient. What's that? Well, he has a history of atrial fibrillation requiring him to take anticoagulant therapy. Yes, warfarin, I remember. I advised him to stop taking the medication five days prior to surgery, but he forgot the directive. And consequently, his INR is too high to make him a safe candidate for surgery today. What's the level? 5.4. Oh, thank you. Let's have a seat and think about this. Oh, excuse me, we were just about to go upstairs and check out jobs. Well, there's no rush. We can do that later. Why don't we give him four units of FFP and check his INR after each one? When it's down to 1.3, we'll get him into theatre. It may mean playing around with the list, but I'm happy to work later if you are. And if we administer vitamin K, also reverse the warfarin. We, we might make it at home by dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to take you up on the MP3 play deal. I don't know what you're talking about. Hang on. 
I represent Kyo. You what? He's got the cops on his back, so he can't deal with you directly. He's asked me to do it on his behalf. When? I've only just spoken with him. Just a minute ago, out the back. I work for him. You're a little young to be in this line of business. Yeah. I have a major room when it comes to the MP3 market. Teenagers. Here's the deal. Karen wants to shift them in small lots in any way to stay under the radar. So you give me 10 MP3s as a trial run. I'll unload those and I'll be back for more in a couple of days. Got 500 bucks in your pocket? I will have tomorrow. Then tomorrow, you get the merchandise. Well, are you going to explain yourself or not? Me explain myself? I wasn't the one dancing up a storm with my not-so-ex-boyfriend. He popped in. I don't know how he'd invited some friends over. It was just... It wasn't a party. Well, it didn't look like that from where I was standing. Pub? Hunter wasn't the only one who popped in. You were just too busy not missing me to notice. So you left. I didn't want to spoil your fun. I wasn't having fun. You were the one who stood me up last night. I even rang you and you said you were coming. I was held up at work. And you couldn't be bothered to tell me. You just left me there. I mean, maybe you're right. If that's how little you think of me, then maybe there isn't any hope for us. It wasn't work that kept me away. I know that. I'm not stupid. You're trying to punish me. Actually, I had this irresistible urge to clean the cesspit of the fridge in the staff room. Is that a joke? No, it's not. It's my OCD rearing its obsessive head. What? Do you remember the psychologist that Mum made me see? The one who said I had obsessive compulsive tendencies? But it, it, it's never stopped you from doing stuff. It's getting worse since the babies. I really, really wanted to see you, Morgan, I swear. But the, the more worked up I got, the more stuff I had to clean. Well, we did pretty well getting his INR down so fast. I'm very grateful to you. I've been looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. How are you going, Phil? I just need another minute or two. No hurry. Queen from E2 to B5. No, you already have a pawn in that position. Do I? Yeah, it was after I moved my knight from E7 to G6. You were after my other knight, I believe. Clearly, I'm still struggling with the visualisation. Well, if you like, we can call the game a draw. No, I'm up to the challenge. OK. Rook from f4 to f6. Oh, smart move, positioning yourself in the seventh rank. But as a result, g7 to f6, pawn takes rook. Your move. I hate the way she makes me feel so dumb. It's like she's got this super-duper amazing brain. I'd probably be intelligent too if I didn't have a life or a personality or any kind of dress sense. <laughs> I'd almost feel sorry for her if she wasn't hogging so much of Chris's time. Time he should be spending with me. Gabrielle has her spur just remember, so she probably doesn't realise the effect that she's having on you. Maybe we should talk to her. Maybe I should remind him what he's missing out on when he's talking shop. With Excuse her. me, Maya. Yeah. JJ's been the target of bullying and several children have refused to play with him. No. He can stay here today, but I think it would be best if you placed him in another daycare facility. What? JJ's so happy here. He he loves all the teachers and the children. I can't believe anyone would bully him. We recommend he's moved for his own well-being. Could you just clarify one thing? Is it JJ you want to get rid of or his mother? Of course. Of course it is. That is blatant discrimination. Maya has been found innocent in a court of law. So either you withdraw your request, or I'm making a complaint to the Human Rights Commission. See how your well-being likes that? It's only a suggestion. Well, we're not interested. Thank you. Ah, it's nothing. You cannot say no. Please, you cannot say no. If it's a school night party, I just have. It's this awesome school ski trip I just found out about. It's happening in August and the spaces are limited, so you've got to get in, like, mega fast. Well, I was thinking that we could all go down for a long weekend. That'd be cool. But it would be way cooler with your mates. The thing is, it's not cheap. How much? 500 bucks. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Have you got the consent form on you? Are you going to sign it? I'm going to look at it. But it's not even in the holidays. You're going to miss a whole week of school. Well, keep reading. The teachers are going to set us homework so we don't fall behind. Yeah, but when are you going to get time to do it? After a day on the snow, you will be knackered. Yeah, 
from all that good and healthy exercise and fresh air you keep going on about. It'll be a great character building experience. Yeah, except your grades are pretty average as it is, Daniel. A whole week I'll get better grades. This trip can be like an incentive. Please, I promise I'll do it. All right. Yes. But you get your marks up, or I will pull you out on the trip. I'll be your model student. That was a textbook piece of surgery, if I saw it. Well, thank you for agreeing to assist. It was a pleasure. <laughs> well, I hope to be able to offer you more surgery on an ad hoc basis, if you're interested. Oh, I certainly would be. E2 to H5, Queen takes pawn. Uh-huh. You want my rook. H8 to H7. Knight E6 to C5, taking your knight. Oh, really? Well, you weren't expecting that one, were you? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Queen, G3 to H3. H3. Damn it, I've gone blank. Do you mind if I um, check this? I've been recording the game as a backup. Go ahead. You got me a checkmate. <laughs> and you sound surprised. <laughs> I thought I was putting up a better fight than that. Oh, well, yes, but surely my victory was never in doubt. I've played many visual chess games, and this is only your first. So the odds were highly stacked in my favor. How on earth did you train your mind to visualize a game so clearly? Well, I began by reading an article, but... Excuse me? Uh, it's a patient. Can we continue this conversation later? Yeah, sure. Drink across at the IV. Yeah, that would suit me fine. It was so easy, man. I just droned on about how much I wanted to do the ski trip, and she wrote the check on the spot. Well, duh, I know it's made out to the school. <laughs> this is a genius bit. Tomorrow, I withdraw from the trip, get a refund in cash, and pay Pete for the first lot of MP3s. Then, my friend, we start flogging them off at school and watch as we make some serious money. <laughs> yeah, lucky one of us has got the brains, eh? Talk to you tomorrow. So where do we go from here? I don't know. I can't take back what I did, Gerald. And if you can't get past it... I don't know how to. It's all in here. It's all these stupid insecurities. They won't just go away. Maybe we could do some counselling. You want to explain to them how we got to this point? I guess not. At least we're talking, finally. This is going to take more than just a walk in the park. Let's be realistic. So, will you be going back to the room at the IV then? It's probably best. Well, the cleaners, maybe, but not for me. I miss you so much, and I don't want to miss you anymore. Please, come on. We need our distance. No, we don't. It's destroying us. I love you, Gerald. I mean, I want to be with you forever. Look, I admit, I was wrong to shut you out of the decision about the babies, but... I promise, I swear, I, I will honour our partnership from here on. Just, just give me one more chance, please. OK. I'll come home. New start. Are you going to tell her? No, I think she'd rather hear it from you. <laughs> You're crazy. There's no way. I guess I am telling her then. Oh, wait. I'll give you one of the MP3 players. Brand new, top of the line. No thanks. You want to cut out of the business? I'll give you 20%. I'm not helping you rip off your own mother. OK. I'll give her her money back. You come up with the bucks instead. I'll pay you 30%. What part of this aren't you getting? Please. I don't want to go back to Samoa. Sarah will send me back to live with my dad if she finds out. Who can blame her? Well, you've never done anything crappy to your parents before? If you dob me in, I'll lose everything. My new mates, the relationship with my mum, and I'm just getting to know her, all because of one stupid mistake. Do you have a better idea? I'll pull out of the scam and return Sarah's money, if you agree to stay quiet. Yeah, well, you're better, because I will tell Sarah. Yes, it is. Please tell me you just got home. Actually, I'm on my way out. Not anymore, you're not, because I have just rearranged my entire schedule for next week. 
so that we can spend a romantic afternoon together. I really wish you'd told me this earlier. And where's the romance in that? I have bubbles. Very nice bubbles. I'm meeting Gabrielle for a coffee. Oh, well, coffee, bubbles, coffee, bubbles. I know which one I'd rather choose. You can easily see her another time. Except she's probably already there, waiting. Well, I was going to surprise you, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Seeing I'm not going to get to wear this. I can um, text her and make up some excuse. I'm sure she'll understand. Hi there. Iced water, thanks. Ooh, I recognise that look. Who's been messing with your head this time? No, I was supposed to meet Chris here for a drink, but he's just texted to say that he can't make it. Oh, did you have something important to discuss? No, which is why I'm struggling to comprehend how I could be so disappointed that he can't come. Well, maybe you've got a little crush on him. No, I don't. I hold him in great regard as a colleague, and I have the utmost respect for him professionally, as he does me. I find our discussions on surgical technique extremely enlightening and recently we've started to play mental chess together. And despite his lack of experience, I think he's doing a remarkable job. Gabrielle, I was joking. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you. I suppose the disappointment stems from the expectation that we would continue our conversation on how I came to develop my ability to visualise the game. Well, if that's all it was, then you have nothing to be disappointed about. Yes, you're right. I shouldn't care whether I can see Chris or not. I, maybe I consider him a colleague and friend and therefore merely enjoy his company. But... But... The depth of feelings I'm experiencing, it doesn't tally with what I would expect to feel for a friend. Which leaves only one explanation. I've developed romantic feelings for Chris. No, no, it, it was a joke. No, no, but it makes perfect sense. Perhaps I'm even falling in love with him. Thanks for love you, and you are. Tony Jeffries. Never mix business with pleasure. Rules are rules, eh? Some are made to be broken. I just have to know which one. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow, TV2.